cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la República Dominicana, la casa del Mere y la casa de la bachata. Hi, I'm Steve Calibro and welcome back. Today we're continuing our series of tequila cocktails with a coconut margarita. Um, we're getting close to Cinco de Mayo, a great non-holiday. They don't celebrate it in Mexico, but any excuse to drink tequila and get hammered in the United States, we're on it. Hey! Right, today we're using one of my favorite tequilas, Uno Dos Tres. It's USDA certified organic. I love this company. It's all about recycled glass, recycled paper, paper, vegetable dyes. It's really, really um, a socially conscious company, so I love this tequila. Uh, let's get started. We're going to start with, we're going to basically build a margarita. So we're going to start with three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice. We're going to put in one and a half ounces of coconut milk. Go to the market and get real coconut milk. Don't get the, the pina colada mix or all that kind of stuff. It's full of chemicals. It's nasty. Now, before you put that away, pour a little bit of the coconut milk in a plate, and I'll show you why in a minute. Next, we're going to go with three ounces of coconut water. You can use baby coconut water that looks real pink or just regular coconut water that comes out clear. We're going to put in three quarters of an ounce of orange liqueur. We're basically building, it's a coconut margarita. Uh, really easy. And now, some blanco tequila, some silver tequila. If you're gonna make a drink, a, a, a margarita with some flavor in it, with coconut or pomegranate or something like that, use a blanco tequila. There's no point in spending the money on a, a reposado or a añejo. So we're gonna go with two ounces of Blanco Tequila. Take our bar spoon and give it a stir. Taste it. And again, the reason we do this without ice is because we don't want to dilute the drink. I'm going to taste it. If it's Right now, we can make any adjustments. If you want more tequila, like I usually do, you can adjust it. Or if you want it sweeter, more acid, anything, you can do it. Oh, that's good. That's really nice. Oh, now I'm throw some ice in here. Give it a shake. Break my glass. Now, the reason for the coconut milk on the plate, take your glass and just put some on the rim. If we use water or lime juice, it's gonna it's not gonna stick very well because we have kosher salt right here with coconut flakes in it. We're going coconut crazy. So just tap that in there, it comes out, everything sticks, it's really nice. Ice and glass. Then top it with our coconut margarita. Garnish it with a lime. Straw. And there you go, a coconut margarita for Cinco de Mayo. I'm Steve Calibro and thank you for watching.